welcome back. Today we are working on the wheel wells for the RX-7. They're a little dirty, not looking that prime, so we're gonna freshen them up a little bit. Have some rubberized undercoating that we're gonna spray on it. Check it out so you guys can see the four shots and how it looks right now and why we're gonna be doing this because we want it to look as good as possible. So check it out. Check it out guys. As you can see, it's pretty dirty in here. It does not look that prime. So we're gonna freshen it up a little bit, make it look a lot better. Turn it completely black. And yeah, should be fun. Stay tuned guys. First thing we're gonna do is we got some degreaser right here. I'm gonna spray it all on the wheel wells. Make sure we get all the dirt and grease, any oils out of the wheel wells before we start painting. Gonna be pressure washing it, scrubbing it down. Let's get it. So we just finished the greasing and pressure washing the wheel wells. We did it lucky number three times because we wanted to get as much of it out as possible. And it came out pretty good, check it out. We um, rinsed it off after we degreased it the third time just to make sure all the suds and soap were off. And now we're just gonna let it dry. Probably force air it a little bit to get some of the water off, help it dry faster. And then we'll get to painting. But yeah, it looks a lot cleaner already. Some of the old paint kind of came off. It's gonna give us a lot better surface to paint on so that the undercoating could stick onto better. And yeah, we're stoked how it's coming out so far. Can't wait to show you guys the final results. Thanks, Adam. All right, guys, so now the wheel wells are all dried up. After we cleaned it, let it dry for a little bit. We used some forced air, get all the water spots out of those crevices and now everything's dried up. We started masking the engine bay because there's some holes that go into the wheel well so we don't want any overspray or anything getting inside the engine bay. So we taped up all those holes. You can see the yellow peeking through. Adam did a great job Just masking off the fender to make sure we don't get any overspray and whatnot on the actual car. But yeah, we're almost ready to paint guys. Super excited. We're doing a good job masking it. It's gonna look a lot better when it's done. We haven't masked this side yet, so we just have one side to go, and then we're gonna start painting. But yeah, always make sure that you have all the holes covered because you don't want any overspray going in on a fresh paint job. So guys, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. This is gonna be sick. It's something a little on the car, but it's gonna make a huge difference because we're gonna have a bunch of new suspension parts in there, and you just don't want the wheel wells to look all old and nasty, so stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, we're all prepped up, all taped up. Adam's doing the first round right now, first coat. Coming out pretty good so far. Check it out, check it out. Nice, it looks good. Good shit. All right, guys, see you guys in a bit. looking so much better after the first coat. Check it out. I know it's kind of hard to see, but really transformed it. Made it all look black. All nice, like one consistent shade to it. Looks really good. I'm stoked. Thank you so much, Adam. Thanks, Adam, for helping me with this. He's getting down. <sighs> Looks so good. All right guys, second and final coat going on right now. We already did this one twice. 
shit looks so fucking good. So stoked on it. Adam's doing the last one right now. It's gonna really put everything together and allow me to finish putting all the suspension in. Finish doing the front end so we can get this bitch rolling again. Drop the engine. Work some magic, you know what I'm saying? Thanks to Adam, really appreciate him. He really wanted to help me out with this project, so shout him out. It looks so good. Woo. All right, guys, that's it. Finished both coats on both sides. Really excited and stoked on the turnout, to be honest. Looks really good. Thank you so much, Adam. We're gonna start taking out all the masking areas and see how it looks. All right, guys, so that concludes us painting the wheel wells. You're only supposed to do two coats of the rubberized undercoating, so it's really simple. You don't have to do too much. The thinner coats, the better, but we're super stoked on the outcome. Really excited how it came out. It's gonna really change the game underneath there, even though no one's probably gonna see it, but whatever. It's gotta look good. A couple things I learned about this is definitely don't underestimate masking off areas that you think isn't gonna get hit, because you just never know, it's just better to be safe than sorry. So one thing I would do different is making sure I masked off a little bit more of the areas that I didn't think were gonna get hit, but they got a little overspray on it. So definitely take that into consideration. And yeah, had a good time. Thanks to my boy Adam. Really simple project. Killed it in about like three, four hours. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for the next video. Much love, peace.